Welcome back to Deal Unboxing and today we are going to review Amplify Alien Wi-Fi 6 router. This is the first Wi-Fi 6 router from Amplify. So in this in-depth review we are going to go over the features, Wi-Fi speed, coverage and performance test to see how well Alien Wi-Fi 6 router performs in the ever-growing market of Wi-Fi 6 routers. So please sit back, relax and enjoy the review. Also please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications for the future videos. So let's do a quick unboxing. In the box we have an Alien Wi-Fi 6 router, power cable, the router has an internal power supply, network cable and a quick start guides. Now let's look at the specs. The router uses one of the most powerful hardware, starting with 64-bit 2.2 GHz quad-core processor, 4.7-inch full-color touchscreen display. It is a tri-band router and supports two Wi-Fi 6 bands, 802.11ax standard, running at 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz, and also there's a third 5 GHz band, which is Wi-Fi 5 802.11ac standard. Router also supports OFDMA plus MU-MIMO, also includes Amplify Teleport Configuration Free VPN solution. Amplify Alien can be used as a stand-alone router, or you can add unlimited number of Amplify Alien routers for use as mesh points to expand coverage. And also router supports iOS and Android apps. Now let's look at the ports. Router has four 1 gig LAN ports on the back of the router, and there's a 1 gig WAN port for internet, reset button, and a power cable input for internal power supply under the router, with good cable management cut out in the back. Let's talk about design and features. The Alien Amplify Wi-Fi 6 router has a unique cylindrical design, a 4.7 inch touchscreen interface and a ring LED light around the base. The build quality is top notch and the best in the business. The 4.7 inch touchscreen provides all the detailed information about the router, which is a huge plus point. And the latest firmware update changes the touchscreen interface and brings all the router information to the main screen. The full color touchscreen has a resolution of 274 by 1268 with 279 ppi and looks very sharp and very responsive. Looking at the screen starting from the top you have time and date followed by the internet speed followed by the network information and current bandwidth in use and then followed by the wi-fi experience information followed by the number of connected devices and in the end router's hardware information. You can go into more details by clicking on each of the category. So if you click internet speed here you can run in your internet speed test, a built-in function to run speed test from the router, and it provides good information about your download and upload speed. And in our case, we have one gig FIOS connection, and router can easily handle one gig internet connection. So if you click on the networks, you will be presented with the current internet usage, followed by the Wi-Fi channels. In my case, I have all the Wi-Fi channels labeled separate, but you can combine them into a single SSID from the router's app. So next if you click on the Wi-Fi, it will show you all the connected Wi-Fi devices with their signal strength and overall Wi-Fi experience presented on the top. And finally if you click on the last category in the bottom, it will present you information about the router's CPU and memory usage, following by the internet live usage, followed by the internet IP information and MAC address and LAN IP, followed by the router's hardware temperature and uptime information. You can also click on the settings tab and here you can adjust the brightness of the touchscreen and also adjust the brightness of the bottom LED so you can adjust it to your liking. There's also information about router's cooling fan, its RPM and temperature. You can also adjust the volume of the built-in speaker. All this information available at the router screen is a huge plus point in my opinion. Now let's do some performance, coverage and speed test. So we place the Alien Wi-Fi 6 router in the basement storage room. It has concrete walls around it and it is in the lowest part of the house. For this test we are using Intel AX200 Wi-Fi 6 card installed in our laptop and we are also using iPhone 11 which is also supporting Wi-Fi 6. So the total square footage of the house is 5000 square feet. I will be testing Wi-Fi connection in different corners and floors of the house to see how well Alien Wi-Fi 6 router performs in terms of Wi-Fi speed and coverage. In this test we will use Fast.com which is powered by Netflix to perform internet speed test. We will also use iPerf3 performance test. So if you're not familiar with iPerf3, it is a tool to measure maximum bandwidth on the wireless or wired networks. So we have our MacBook Pro configured with iPerf3 server. So let's get started. I have one gig Ryzen Fios connection. And for the first test, I have connected a MacBook Pro to the router via Ethernet cable. And using fast.com speed test, we are getting close to one gig internet speed. Confirming router can handle one gig internet speed, which is great and good start for this test. 
Now for the first Wi-Fi speed test, I've placed the laptop with Wi-Fi 6 card right next to the router. And as you can see, we're connected to 5 GHz Wi-Fi 6 channel with speed up to 1.2 gigabits per second. And using fast.com speed test, I'm getting 450 megabits per second download speed and 600 megabits per second upload speed. Now we're going to run iPerf 3 test on iPhone 11, but we are going to use 5 streams instead of single stream. With iPerf 3 5 streams, we're able to get maximum up to 722 megabits per second wireless speed. Now for the second test, I'm standing 30 feet away from the Wi-Fi 6 router in the basement with a couple of walls between the Wi-Fi router, iPhone and laptop. I have so far good Wi-Fi connection. First using iPhone 11 with iPerf 3 5 stream speed test, we're able to get 640 megabits per second wireless speed. Now let's move to the laptop with Wi-Fi 6 card installed. And here we are connected at 1 gigabits per second wireless speed. And when running fast.com speed test, we're able to get 590 megabits per second download and 520 megabits per second uploads wireless speed. Now let's move from the basement to the main floor of the house and do a next Wi-Fi speed and connection test. I have still so far good Wi-Fi connection and using iPerf 3 5 stream wireless speed test, we are getting 641 megabits per second wireless speed on iPhone 11. And on the laptop using fast.com speed test, we are getting 580 megabits per second download and 500 megabits per second upload wireless speed. Now let's move to the far right side of the house and close to 30 feet from the Wi-Fi 6 router with the floor and few walls in between the router, iPhone and laptop. Here we still have good Wi-Fi signals and using iPerf 3 5 stream speed test on iPhone 11, we are getting 479 megabits per second wireless speed and for the Wi-Fi 6 laptop using fast.com speed test, we are getting 470 megabits per second download and 430 megabits per second upload wireless speed. Now I am moved to the far left side of the house and close to 60 feet from the Wi-Fi 6 router with the floor and few walls in between the router, iPhone 11 and laptop. I have so far good Wi-Fi connection on iPhone 11 and using the iPerf 3 5 stream speed test, we are still getting 243 megabits per second wireless speed. Laptop is also getting good Wi-Fi signals and using fast.com speed test, we are getting 290 megabits per second wireless speed. Now let's move to the second floor of the house. Here we have two floors and few walls between the Wi-Fi 6 router, iPhone and laptop. And here we still have very good Wi-Fi signal strength with solid Wi-Fi connection on iPhone 11. And using iPerf 3 5 stream wireless speed test, we're still getting very strong 690 megabits per second wireless speed. Laptop is also getting very strong signals here with connection speed up to 1 gigabits per second. And using fast.com speed test, we're getting 580 megabits per second download and 610 megabits per second upload wireless speed. Now we're going to do a final router's network ethernet speed test. In this test, we have both our iPerf 3 server and client connected to the router via ethernet. And using iPerf 3 5 stream test, we are able to get 1 gigabits per second transfer speed. This is also good results and could be very useful if you own a NAS device. Amplify designed the Alien Wi-Fi 6 router setup to be a very easy process. And according to Amplify, it takes one minute to complete the setup. And I completely agree. This is one of the easiest and fastest setup process I've experienced. All you have to do is download the router app to your Android or iOS device. Connect your router to your modem. Or if you have files with Ethernet connection, you can connect your router's WAN port directly to your Ethernet cable and you don't need modem. Then just follow the instructions and app to complete the setup. It definitely took one minute to have the router up and running. On the router's main screen on the top, you will be greeted with the information if there is any problem with the router or everything is running great. Towards the bottom, you will see the number of connected devices along with internet download and upload speed being used. Also in the bottom, you have system tab along with performance information, guest setup and connected devices information and built-in diagnosis tool. So if you go in the performance information, you will see the router's throughput and you can run internet speed test here. Under Guest tab, you can enable guest access along with Amplify Teleport, which is a VPN feature, and you can download the app. Under Devices, you will see the connected Wi-Fi devices. Here you can pause the internet for all the devices or any individual device. There's also a built-in diagnosis tool to check your internet connection is good. The app has a built-in live support link, and this is the highlighted feature of the Amplify Wi-Fi 6 router. I was able to connect to live support within 5 minutes. This is amazing service. It is hard to find service like this in any other manufacturer's device. I cannot stress enough about this feature and fast service provided by the Amplify. Support was very helpful and was able to answer all my questions. 5 star all the way. So if you go back to the main screen in the app, you can click on the router icon and it will take you to some advanced settings. 
where you can set up a lot of settings, including Wi-Fi settings. You can combine all the Wi-Fi channels into a single SSID or keep them separate. You can also keep the Wi-Fi 5 5 GHz channel disabled if you want. There's also advanced settings where you can change the Wi-Fi channels manually or leave it to auto for both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. But you don't have to set up all these settings if you're not a power user. You can leave everything to default. Let's do a final summary. Overall, Amplify Alien Wi-Fi 6 router did perform very well in this review. Router offers excellent hardware with top-of-the-line 64-bit quad-core CPU running at 2.2 GHz. It helps with the router top-notch performance in both Wi-Fi speed and coverage. A single router was able to provide coverage up to 5,000 square feet house with one of the best Wi-Fi speeds. Amplify offers excellent live help support within the app and I was able to connect with the support within 5 minutes. It's hard to beat that. The router's 4.7 inch touchscreen is also an excellent feature and allows you to see all the router's information without logging into the app. Amplify also offers free teleport VPN feature which is an awesome bonus and easy to use. So the final question, would I recommend Amplify Alien Wi-Fi 6 router? Absolutely. It offers one of the best Wi-Fi coverage, best hardware in the market, and top Wi-Fi 6 performance in the market. Let me know what you guys think of Amplify Alien Wi-Fi 6 router in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications for future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.